Hi, and thanks for tuning in. Today's lesson, we're going to be looking at 3.5, solving two-step equations. So what we've done before is just solved one-step equations. When we see addition, we use subtraction. When we see division, we use multiplication and vice versa. So today we're going to be putting both of those things together and trying two-step equations. That means we're going to be seeing like adding and multiplying or subtracting and dividing and a mixture of those things. You're going to be writing six things, downs in your, six things down in your notes today, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to show you is what a two-step equation would look like. You will have two steps, so where I'm going to show you what those two steps are. The first step you're going to do is undo addition or subtraction. It's almost like you have the order of operations and you're just working backwards. You're working backwards to solve it, okay? So undoing addition or subtraction, I see add 5, so I'm going to subtract 5. So now these 5's will cancel out, and I'm left with negative 3x is equal to 2 and negative 5 make negative 3. The second step is obviously going to be to undo multiplication or division. I see multiplication in this um, equation, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. x is equal to, excuse me, negative 3. x will be equal to positive 1. Remember, you can plug your answer back in to see if it gives you the correct answer. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2, so my answer is correct. Okay, so undo addition or subtraction, undo multiplication or division. It's essentially working backwards from the order of operations. So what we're going to do is go ahead and copy these things on this. So let's go ahead and copy the steps down, undo addition or subtraction, undo multiplication or division, and then we're going to try this question. We know that we have, we see minus 3, so that's undoing my subtraction or addition. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. These 3's will cancel out, so all I'm left with is 2x is equal to 5 plus 3, which is 8. And then my last step will be undoing um, multiplication or division. So I'm going to divide by both sides on 2's, and I'm going to get x is equal to 4. To double check my answer, again, I can plug in 4 to the original equation where x is equal to 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5, so that means my answer is correct. If you haven't had time to write down the steps, pause the video real quick and then click play when you're ready. Try one on your own. So here are two questions that you are going to try on your own. You're going to go ahead and pause the video, try both questions 2 and 3, and then click play to check your work. Okay, here we go. So remember we do addition or subtraction first, and then multiplication or division second. With number 2, I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. Those two 12's cancel out. All I'm left with is 2x on this side of the equation sign. 4 and negative 12 are going to give me a negative 8. So 2x is equal to negative 8. Um, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So that means these 2's will cancel out to give me just 1x, which is exactly what I needed. And negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. So negative 4 is my answer. Again, I can plug this back in to check my work. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. For number 3, same thing here. I'm going to undo addition first, so minus 9, minus 9. Those two 9's cancel out, and I'm left with negative 5c is equal to negative 16 and negative 9 make negative 25. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. So c is equal to positive 5. Again, check my work by plugging in the solution. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Negative 25 plus a positive 9 is negative 16. Go ahead and again pause this one and try it. Once you're done, click play to check your work. Here we go for number 4. So we're going to subtract 6 first. These two 6's cancel out, so all I'm left with is m over 2 is equal to 4. And then I see division, so I'm going to use multiplication to solve. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. These 2's can cancel out, so all I'm left with is m, and 4 times 2 is 8. Once again, you can plug in your answer into the um, question to see if your solution makes it true. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 plus 6 is 10, so that means my answer is correct. Sometimes you might have 
you might have to combine like terms before you solve. So notice this is 3y minus 8y. You'd essentially combine those like terms. 3y and negative 8y make negative 5y. And then you write equals 25, and then you solve. So y would be equal to negative 5. So just be careful of those as well. The last bit I need to show you is what happens whenever you see the distributive the first thing you're going to need to do is distribute. So I'm going to distribute the 2 to the b and the negative 4. So that's going to be 2 times b and 2 times negative 4 is equal to 98. 2 times b is 2b, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and I get 98 still. My second step will still be to undo addition or subtraction. You always want to do that first before you undo multiplication or division. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So I get 2b is equal to 106. And then obviously your last step would undo multiplication or division. In this case, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. b is equal to 53. Okay, so this one's just a little bit different. Again, still kind of thinking about order of operations going backwards. Except this time you have something to be distributed first, so you can um, distribute that first. Um, some of you might have divided by 2 first, and that actually would give you the same answer. So we can look at um, another way to do that on the next slide. So here again, I'm going get you, to get you to try number 6. Let's go ahead and pause the video, try it on your own, and then click play when you're ready to check. All right, so here we go. One way you can do this is distribute the 2 to the x and the 6. So I have 2x plus 2 times 6 is 12, and that is all equal to 4. My next step, I'm going to do this in the same color that I have for step 2 is purple, undo addition or subtraction. So I'm having a negative 12 um, on both sides of the equation. 4 and negative 12 make negative 8. And then the last step I have is undoing multiplication or division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. x will be equal to negative 4. Some of you also might have done this as your answer. 2 parentheses x plus 4 is equal to, or sorry, x plus 6 is equal to 4. What you can do is you can also divide both sides by 2 first because you're multiplying by 2. And that would give you, these 2's would cancel out. And all you're left with is x plus 6 is equal to 2. And then you'd still solve the same way. You'd try to get rid of that plus 6. So minus 6 on both sides. x would be equal to 2 and negative 6 make negative 4. So that's another way to solve it um, if, you would if you choose to do so. That's going to conclude our notes, so make sure that you have all six things written down. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.